Hi, welcome. So today, me wearing no hat, cause hats are itchy. Anyways, dashing tutorials for Unity are not new anymore, but a lot of them are for the top-down view. So today, I'm making this tutorial for the side-scrolling view, since there aren't many tutorials about that. Anyways, let's get started. First, first. I explained the logic stuff, which may hurt my brain, but I need to do it. So now, to dash, we'll have a timer for how long you can dash. So when you start this timer, the player will, will continue dashing until the timer is over, and that's basically it. Now there's another part if you want a sort of rechargeable dash, like you have to wait until you can actually dash. Then another timer is gonna be added. And it will start when we are not dashing, meaning we are standing still. And when we dash, it will reset that timer. And we need to stand still until the timer is over and we can dash again. Hope you understood all that. If not... Just kidding. Don't take it serious. So, let's start. Make a new script. Call it dash. Then open it and make four variables public float dash speed which is the dash speed float dash time plop 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 why is that word so hard to read okay public float start dash time which is the first timer integer direction for the direction we want to dash and public float start reset dash float reset dash which is the second timer and a boolean dashing so this will be used to check if we are dashing or not the, the reason for that is to stop our normal normal movement from overriding our dash now we'll go to the start function and set dash time equals to start dash time and to where we apply our movement we'll check if dashing equals a true or not so that this does not re overwrite our dash then, to update, we'll detect some inputs. Now create an if direction equals to zero, means when the player's not dashing, we'll detect for some input. And de decrease the reset time, since we are standing still. Now if the player press down the dash key, which is D for me, we'll check if move input is larger than zero, meaning the player is currently moving right, then we'll set direction equals to 1, and else if move input equals to 2, then direction equals to 2. Now we'll make an else so that if direction is not equal to 0, meaning the player is dashing, then we'll check if dash time is smaller than 0, meaning the player is done dashing. Then we'll reset the direction to 0, reset dash time, and check if reset dash time is larger or equals to 0 or not. If true, we'll set the rigid body velocity to vector 2.0 so that the player doesn't keep moving, and set dashing equals to false. Else, if the player still has time to dash, then we'll let the player dash. So inside this else statement, we'll decrease our dash time and check if reset dash time is smaller or equals to 0 or not. If yes, meaning we have stand still too much, then we can dash now. So inside it, we'll create two ifs if direction equals to one, meaning the player's moving right and want to dash. Then we'll take the rigid body velocity and make it to ve equals to vector two dot right multiplied with dash speed, and set the reset dash equals to start reset dash because our player dashed and needs to be standing still again. Also, dashing equals to true. Now we'll do the same for the if direction equals to 2, but just changing the vector 2 direction to left instead of right. And that's about it. We'll now head out to the player's inspector and change some values. So dash speed for me will be 50. Start dash time should be, should be 0 0.1. And start reset dash will be... Hmm... Uh, 0 0.5 should be good, but I'll set to 1 so you guys can see the reset time clearer. 
Now let's test it and see. See? Works pretty smoothly. The player can blast. Also, if we dash, then we'll have to wait for it to recharge. And I'm currently sp and I'm currently spamming D, <laughs> but you guys can't see. <laughs> so I think I should end the video here. There's a poll right up there for you guys to vote. What tutorial should I make next? And join my Discord server if you want some more help on other stuff. On other stuff. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. And now, goodbye.